Hey guys, welcome to my first health-related video on hind leg degeneration in rats. Hind leg degeneration is something that develops in almost any rat that lives to an old age. Basically, HLD is where your rat loses the ability to properly move their hind legs. You can see with Pippa that her mobility is limited because of hind leg degeneration. Basically, HLD is loss of mobility in the back legs. You notice with Pippa that as she walks, she drags her feet behind her. This is because of hind leg degeneration. If you take your rat to the vet, um, there's not much they can do for you unless it's arthritis related. Honestly, there's not really much you can do for rats with HLD. It's just a reality that, they, that you have to live with. Thankfully, there are a few things you can do to make their life easier as mobility becomes harder and harder. Some things you may notice with hind leg degeneration is they have a harder time climbing, moving around, and just overall getting into things. I've found Pippa a few times halfway in something and she just can't get her legs over the barrier. Something else you may notice with HLD is that their tail goes limp. This is because hind leg degeneration not only affects the back legs of your rat, but also their tail. So what can you do for a rat who has hind leg degeneration? Thankfully, hind leg degeneration isn't life-threatening, but it still and can lead to paralysis in the hind legs of your rat. Also, you may notice that your rat looks like they're pinched in on the sides. This can be because of hind leg degeneration. Thankfully, HLD in rats is not life-threatening, but it still is a reality and it can still make their life really challenging. It is because of this that often their living space will have to be altered. Basically, you wanna make their cage wheelchair accessible. So these are the cage alterations that I have made to make Pippa's life easier. So you can see we have her water and in the back, that is her litter box. It is hard for her to get into it because of hind leg generation, but I think she'll be okay. And if she does poo outside of it, you just have to have grace for that. I have made sure that she's a hammock on the first level, a hut, her food, and a water bowl. You can also see that I've put in a ramp. Often when you have younger rats, you try to leave ramps out to make it, to make them have to get more exercise to get up and down the cage. But for Pippa, of course, this is really hard and climbing is really difficult. So putting this ramp in allows her to get to the second level a lot more easily. In terms of HLD prevention, there is one thing you can do and it's really just giving your rats exercise. The more they use their legs, the less likely they are to get HLD. Uh, HLD tends to be more common in male rats. And this is probably because males tend to be a little bit lazier and a little bit bigger, so they have more weight on their body, really. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you about hind leg degeneration in rats. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, if you liked this video, please <laughs> press the like button so I know what sorts of things you like. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. It means so much to me every time I get another subscriber. So hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you want to hear more about my rats. If you follow me at Fond of Rats, you can see lots of more rat content from me on Instagram. Bye! See you next week!